here you have the voltage to current converter the same circuit is shown here and you can see the op amp here and I have connected 1 kilo ohm resistor and this is the current meter which is connected here and the voltmeter is here. This is the voltage source DC voltage source which is connected at the input and this voltmeter measures in parallel what is the voltage I connect here and this load is actually the current meter which is connected here. Now if you observe here in the voltage source I have kept at 100 millivolts as you can see from the reading on this multimeter it shows 100 millivolts here and 100 millivolts divided by 1 kilo ohm gives me 0.1 milliampere 100 so this is 100 milli, uh, 0.1 milliampere 100 microampere so 100 millivolt divided by 1 kilo ohm gives me 100 microvolts or 0.1 milliampere so that is what this uh, meter reads if i increase the input voltage to 200 millivolt this is reading 200 millivolt here approximately and you can see it is now 200 microampere or 0.2 milliampere at the output stage now if i increase to 300 millivolts this multimeter again reads 300 millivolts and the corresponding output current is 0.3 milliamperes or 300 microamperes. So, corresponding to every voltage here, the corresponding current is obtained by the feedback network that you have here, and the circuit is converting this voltage into a corresponding current. So, this is a voltage to current converter circuit. 